Hey guys, welcome to Home Sweet Homeschool. My name is Ashley and I'm a homeschooling mom to one. And today I'm so excited to bring you Unit 3 of the Gather Around Homeschool curriculum. You're watching this on Wednesday, so it just came out yesterday, and I wanted to show you the inside of the upper elementary notebook for Space. Space is her third unit that she just released, and by her I mean Rebecca Spooner, from Homeschool On. If you want to know more about this curriculum, I have two other videos, one about the unit study of Asia and one about North American birds. You can also visit gatheroundhomeschool.com. That is the website for it, and it's going to give you all the background information as to why she created it, the other units that she plans on making, and it also shows you the options of how to purchase it. You can have it printed for you, or you can buy the digital copy, which is what I do. So you can find all that out on her website. I'm also a part of the Gather Around Homeschool community on Facebook. It is a great place to get ideas and to find out more. And Rebecca is very active on that page. So if you ever have a question, somebody from that group, one of the sweet mamas, or Rebecca, or some of the other ladies that are helping her will answer your questions. So you definitely want to check that out. So I want to show you the space unit study. So keep in mind, this is made for your kids from pre-K all the way to high school. You are going to get a teacher's guide and you're going to get your notebooks. It depends on what you buy. If you buy the bundle, then you will get every level. I only have one child, so I purchased the one student notebook, one teacher's guide. So I'll show you at the end of this video what the teacher's guide looks like. So what this is, this unit study of space, is you will gather all of your kids around, you will read from the teacher's guide, whatever lesson it is for that day, and when that is finished, you give everybody their notebook and everyone starts to work. So you're all doing it together. And it's about togetherness, which is something I absolutely love. So let's dive into this upper elementary space workbook or notebook. Now I do apologize. I left this printing while I went to take my dog outside and I didn't realize that my color ink was low. So a few of these pages, the color's off just a little bit. So you'll get to see how beautiful it is past the first couple of pages. So you're going to get a table of contents of everything that's going to be covered in this unit along with an appendix and we will show that too. Then you have your scope and sequence. Every one of the levels is going to have a scope and sequence. So the one for upper elementary has your language arts, poetry and imagery, writing, grammar, spelling. Look at all the science that you're covering. It's amazing at how much science you're covering in this one. Then you have social studies history. So social studies, geography, and history. Then you have art, and then here's all your Bible that you're covering. And then it goes straight into lesson one. So like I said, you read from the teacher's guide. Um, you can go from there and find websites. You can do extra things, but you honestly don't have to. You can read from the teacher's guide, hand your kids their notebooks, and that's all you have to do. It's just that simple, and it is just such an amazing curriculum. So here's lesson one. The science is usually a notebooking page, and um, so we'll look at how they differ as we go through it. So on this one, you're researching and recording what you remember to fill in the boxes. So this is what is astronomy. If you were to study space, what field of astronomy would interest you the most? Then you're going to talk about the first telescope and interesting facts. Then your social studies is um, information about specialization and division of labor. So they'll read this and answer some comprehension questions. Then you have your scripture, and from that, that's your, um, your child's copy work, and it's also where they get their spelling words from, and they'll use that to practice their spelling. So you have your spelling at the bottom, copy work at the top, spelling at the bottom. Then you have some map work. This was about a Dutch glassmaker. And then you have, and I hate that this is not in the beautiful colors that um, the Starry Night is. Uh, my printer, of course, messed up. But this is about Vincent van Gogh. And then you can create your own version. So they could do it here, or if you had a canvas or something you wanted them to paint on, they could do it there as well. Here's lesson two, galaxies and solar systems. So the notebook page looks a little bit different. And my son really appreciates that, that they're not all the same. He would get really bored with that if they were. 
So he appreciates that each of the notebooking pages are different. Here's a famous astronomer. And you can always add to this. Find YouTube videos, find books. You know, you can add as much as you want to to it or you can just go straight from here. Then for this grammar, you look at the paragraph. It says there are five capitalization and two verb tense errors. So they're doing a little bit of editing and then you write the paragraph correctly on the lines below. Now we're getting into where my printer was kind of working. So this is ordering the solar system. Pretend you're on board a space shuttle that's just left the sun. The shuttle's heading away from the sun towards the middle of the Milky Way galaxy. Use the list below to put the things in order that you would see on your journey. So that's really cool. And then you have an art focus, how to draw a sphere. Now here's the beautiful colors. See how beautiful this unit is? I'm telling you, all of her units are gorgeous. They're gorgeous. So lesson three is all about the sun, and of course this is another notebooking page. Here's history and math. This is all about the sundial, and I know Target Dollar Spot at one point had some sundial kits there, but you can make your own with a paper plate. So that would be a lot of fun for that. Here's your spelling and copy work, and here's your writing. Now each unit has a focus. We did some informational writing in the North American Birds. We um, are going to be writing a story in Asia, and in this one, you are going to work on a comic strip. Now, how much fun is that? That's going to be so much fun. You're going to work on your own comic book, so you have a brainstorming page. And then you have Draw the Sun. So I'm just going to flip through more of these pages. Here's Mercury. Here's some map work. Your dictation, because you've practiced the copy work enough that you're ready for dictation. Astronomy, you're going to draw Mercury. And then Venus, it's absolutely beautiful. This is about landforms, copy work and spelling. I'm going to skip any of these pretty pages. The water cycle, and you're going to draw Venus. Here's the earth, continents and oceans, some more grammar, so they're going to edit this paragraph here, poetry and imagery, and they're going to draw the earth. Now I want you to keep in mind that in each level these pages are going to be a little bit different. The notebooking page is going to be different for the middle school and high school, just like the pre-reader and the early reader. They're all going to look a little bit different. And I do have an upcoming video that will show um, samples from each of these levels, in case you're wondering. So remember, this is just upper elementary. This is all about the moon. Here's some writing. This is talking about um, using your brainstorming page from the last week and organizing your ideas to begin your comic book. So you're not working on writing every day. You're going to come to it every few days. Now, I want to point out this. If you see this on the page, same page alert, it says if you're doing this with multiple kids, you can read this to all of them together and then have them work on their assigned sections. So she um, puts that note on the pages that are the same in everyone's notebook because you are going to run into that. So that's a nice little reminder. Then you're going to draw the moon. Now I'm going to flip to maybe the middle. Let's go to... Let's go to lesson 15. So now we're at an ancient astronomer, a famous person. Do you think space exploration is important and why? And an interesting fact. And then you're into economic systems. I love how she combines so many things. Like you have space as your overarching theme, but she is terrific at putting in all the subjects. And so we are getting to talk about economic systems, what they mean, defining the type of economy, and there's that same page alert. If you're doing it with multiple kids, this is the same in everyone's. I love this. There's some more writing. And then like this, I do not print mine front and back because my printer annoys me when I print it front and back. But if you do, she leaves pages blank when the front page has to be cut. So that's why those pages are like that. Here's the International Space Station. And then you're back to notebooking. So this is what you remember about astronauts. How do they train? What do they do? Life in space, interesting facts. Here's the same page alert. Here's your dictation. Trust in the Lord. This is subject focused Bible. 
and you're gonna draw an astronaut. Oh, and I like this page. This is all about rockets. My little boy will love this. You label the rocket, you write about rocket fuel, what happens to a rocket in space, and interesting facts. So let's go, there's Design a Star. Oh, look at lesson 19, constellations. Oh, this is absolutely beautiful. Here's your social studies, navigating the stars, your copy work and spelling, your presentations. This is your writing project presentation. Your kid decides how they're going to present it at the end of the unit. And then let's go to the appendix. I wanna show you that really quick. So let me just remind you that there are 20 lessons and the lessons can be done five days a week, four days a week, really whatever fits your family. For us, we do it three days a week because we go to co-op on Mondays and then we fund school on Fridays. And so it takes us a little over a month to get finished with it, but it's totally okay. So here's the appendix. The appendix, you're going to have some extra writing pages that you can copy and use. You are also going to have stargazing. It says draw different constellations you see and see if you can find what they are. So a couple pages of those, actually more than a couple of pages. And then you have a reading log for any of the books that um, your kids read. And you will find some reading suggestions in the teacher's guide for all the levels. And they can um, write down what they've read here. And then we have, oh, look at this. This is map of the Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere stars. You can cut them out to make a wheel to show you how the sky looks different at different times of the years, or you can make your own. And here's the other ones. Okay, then you're also gonna have an answer key for the pages that need it. And then you have some cards. There were cards that came with Asia also. And so you have some for space as well. So these are really fun to use. So I want to show you how I use the teacher's guide. Now I've seen people have it printed or even printed at home. I've seen people project it on their TV. But what works for us is to put it into my Google Drive and then I can open it up on my iPad and this is where I read from. So we can do it in our bedroom, we can do it on the couch, we can do it outside. It doesn't really matter because you can just scroll up through here and as you can see it is just as beautiful as the notebook. So here's your book list I was talking about. It's going to have it for every level, pre-reader, early reader, early elementary, upper elementary, middle high, middle and high school. And then there's some supplemental books, you know, if you want to have if you have a morning basket or things like that that you can um, put those in and so she also has um, a supplies list for each lesson which I thought was really neat so you'll know what you need ahead of time and then if you need planning pages she even includes those I use my own planner I use the happy planner but if you need planning pages they're in here so there's um, a couple of those and then I wanted to show you the actual lessons so let's get into that here Lots of planning pages. So here we go. Lesson one, space introduction. So she's going to give you a day at a glance, and then it tells you exactly what to read. And I love it on here because we're going to get to see these beautiful pictures. So you would read lesson one. You do the activity break. Um, so you've got your vocabulary, of course, in bold. So you're reading this to all of your children. Looking at these gorgeous pictures. The story of the telescope. You're going to read all of this. What if you were an astronomer? And then it says, assignment. Students, it's time to work on your notebooks. Open up your notebook to today's lesson and complete the assignments. Then it tells you a way you can impress the rest. And then there's also, um, sometimes there's an extension activity if you want to take it even further. And then all of her sources where she got the information. And then it goes all the way in to the next lesson. So this is how I use the teacher's guide and it's worked out very well for me so far.